I could see him lifting the gas can, and then when it exploded, and everything just kind of flashed white. My name is Natalie, and I have second and third degree burns. The accident affected my self-confidence, making it very low. I started posting about my accident, and within like two days, it kind of went viral. I've been able to make friends and help people with family members who had just been burned. I've not been back to the side of the fire. I want to go back just to kind of prove to myself and others that it's not a hard challenge for me to face. Majority of the burns are on the front part of my body. The worst parts of the burns would be my chest and neck area. It was Thanksgiving break. We decided to have a bonfire in the backyard. It started dying down later in the night. So then to help the fire keep going, somebody poured gas on the fire and then it exploded. And they were standing in front of me, so it just flashed back onto me and it just spread. As a medic myself, as soon as I heard that Natalie had been burned, um, I kind of went into medic mode in, in a sense and said, okay, what, what happened? I feel like you hear it, but you're not, it's not sinking in. It's like you're living this experience from the outside. I knew that it was going to get worse, but I didn't, I didn't think it was gonna get as bad as it did. The first time I saw myself after the fire, my face was really red and I had no hair. I felt like I was looking at a completely different person. I was in the hospital for 77 days, so about three and a half months. Going out in public was very difficult. She would have um, almost like these panic attacks or meltdowns because she would notice like people looking at her and she didn't like it. The accident affected my self-confidence, making it very low. I wasn't happy with everything and the way that I felt and was thinking that everyone was looking at me. I started posting about my accident and within like two days it kind of went viral and it wasn't something I expected. But when I continued to post, I met other people who were burned years before, or had just recently been burned. I've been able to make friends and help others. The response was very positive. I truly believe it was when she started realizing she was helping other people, her confidence skyrocketed. I kind of got in the mindset of why try and hide them if people are gonna see them anyway. Her, her big deal is now is that her scars and her burns are not what defines her. Her body or her looks are not what defines her. her it's, it's who she is and I mean, that's just phenomenal. So. Have you been back to the side of the fire since it happened? I've not been back to the side of the fire. I want to go back just to kind of prove to myself and others that, you know, it's not a hard challenge for me to face. We're headed to my friend Nate's house where, where the whole event happened. I'm not nervous. I think mostly because my parents are gonna be there this time too. It was about right where the flower bed starts is where I was sitting and James was only standing right in front of me. And from behind, I could see him lifting the gas can. And then when it exploded and everything just kind of flashed white, I walked around and kind of dropped right here. I saw the tree and the plants on fire over here. And then I was just kind of laying here waiting for help to get here. I'm definitely more comfortable with it. I feel like I've gotten a big piece out of the way and I can just go on not having to worry about getting this done at any point in the future. My confidence has boosted and just grown throughout everything. Bro, I was like doing this, it just exploded. And I saw it like come out of the barrel and into the gas can. And I was like, let go and then it was just... <laughs> 
You let go a little too late. A little too <laughs> late. A little too late. She doesn't let anything stop her, you know. Um, after this, the accident, um, me and a lot of other burn survivors kind of let it stop them from doing what they want. And she just comes along and, you know, she started doing TikTok. She's freaking famous now. I just hope other people will actually go to challenges of their own and actually face them head on instead of putting it off. I think you can only get better from where you started. So I just hope other people see that.